Tanzania Tour Guides Association is a, a non-profitable organization and uh, we do have more than 1,000 active members throughout the country but uh, the total number of the tour guides around the country is uh, over 3,500. We work very close with the, uh, the Ministry of uh, Natural Resources and Tourism. We also work to, together very close with the Tanzania National Parks, Ngorongoro Conservation Authority, Tanzania Tourist Board. We are also the member of the Confederation of Tourism in Tanzania. We are working together in order to promote uh, tourism in Tanzania. We do have three different categories of membership in our association. We do have normal Tanzanian tour guides who are actually working as tour guides taking tourists into the national parks and other attractions in the country. We do also have associate members and these are non-origin uh, Tanzanians who actually find themselves operating within Tanzania. We do have tour leaders and couriers coming from outside Tanzania. We do also have honorary members and these are individual or institutions inside and outside Tanzania who supports our objectives and interest to develop tourism in Tanzania. Uh, we TTGA, we understand the importance of guide in this industry. So to recognize or to honor these guides who are doing this tough job, we are introducing uh, Tanzania Tour Guide Awards in a four different categories. Safari Guide, Mountain Guide, Porter and Cook. Qualities of a good guides. First and foremost, it's uh, friendly because you are receiving people from the different country that you don't know them, you're just seeing them for the first time in order to make them comfortable to travel with you for some, for some days or to go on the mountain for some days. First and foremost, you should be friendly enough in order for them to feel at home. Secondly, I would say communication skills. Communication skills is very important because if you cannot communicate, it means you cannot really deliver what or make any interpretation about the, the what you know. But third is the knowledge about the area, the knowledge about the resources, knowledge about the country, because at the end of the day, you're not only interpreting about the wild animals and other resources or other attractions, but also interpret about the country and culture and Tanzania at large. So that's very important. But also the good guide should follow the rules because we all live by the rules. If you follow the rules means you will help to have sustainable, uh, uh, sustainable tourism because it will be conserving, help conserving. Following the rules also will avoid or will also make other people feel like this place is respected. So they will help, they will live with a clear image and a very good uh, attitude about the, 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 the country and the area at large. Que la gente siempre viene aquí para cazar, pero en Game Reserve la gente no puede cazar, pero no hay safari fotografía. En la reserva es como. Ili tuweze kusema kwamba we guide ni, ni, ni bora. Moja ni kwamba lazima awe anafamu vivutio, yani awe na knowledge. Lakini kingine, guide huyo ni, ni mtu ambaye anatakiwa aweze kuinteract. Awe na mausiano mazuri na wageni anapokuwa na waongoza. When I think about a good guide, it's someone who is relaxed and is willing to give you lots of information. But it, I think the most important thing is to recognize how, how slowly you want to see things, how long you want to see things. 
and these guys have been just great in that regard. I haven't felt rushed. Um, I haven't felt overloaded with information. Um, I feel like they know how to pace things through the day. Great guy. And that's what makes a good guide, is one who tries to appreciate what each individual guest wants. What we don't like is a guide who will, you'll stop somewhere and they'll say, because we were interested in birds, yeah. they'll say, there's a, there's a such and such, there's a such and such, that bird's this, that bird's that, without giving you time to look and appreciate. The best guide is somebody that has got a lot of empathy for people and knows how people work, as well as having an ama amazing amount of knowledge of wildlife, plants, animals, the whole ecosystem. Um, and, at, and at the same time, being able to balance all that with being a bit of a tour operator as well, because he's got to do the hotel work, get the lodges right, make sure the meals are okay. Um, so he's got to be quite a well-rounded person, really. Um, and in fact, um, I think the guys that we've had in Tanzania so far have been excellent, really first class. Well, we've been to Tanzania twice now and the guides here have been brilliant. No complaints at all about our guide today. We've showed us so much uh, elephants, uh, giraffe, uh, impala and how to recognize the impala <laughs> so we now know that many many amateurs and uh, sometimes the guide says do you see the bird and we say the bird the bird the bird <laughs> and it takes us some time in order to find it but uh, he was very very patient with us very very knowledgeable it was a very very good educational and very very enjoyable and fun experience I think for all of us Just he's also there. teaching us a song so we're gonna <laughs> sing a song together <laughs> Well, I think the best guide of us is the one we've had today, who's Papu. <laughs> we have no complaint at all. Yeah. And um, as I say, I re make this statement again. Yeah. This is one of the reasons it brought us back. Yeah. Because we had such a good time. Mm -hmm. And if we have a good time, you must be doing a damn good job. <laughs> <laughs> we've been... Um, taken as really people with less value though we are represent we are representing the Tanzania abroad because most clients who arrive in Tanzania or in Africa the first person to see or experience is the guide from day one to the last day and he flies back but the, our the bosses in the office they tend not to value us at all that's why even the payment is just we get the last piece of the cake the big portion they just take it Actually, yeah, we have a lot of challenges in this job, um, like especially today, we're now here. We're supposed to go to the camp at Oliver's and the river's flooded. So we're just sitting here and check for plan B. So now we have to go all the way back to the other gate and try if we can get to the camp today. Yeah, there was a lot of challenges um, because uh, uh, before I joined and beyond, I went to several companies and asked for a job. And uh, everybody was telling me, why, why didn't you work in the office and you want to work in the bush? So I was telling them, this is my interest and that I, I want to do it. Yeah, so when I joined the company, it was very, very difficult. One of the challenges that we are facing is the infrastructures. For example, when it rains a lot, we sometimes it's very hard to get around. For example, when you go to the parks like Serengeti or in Tarangire, or oh, the other part of the, of, the, of the national parks is very hard to go around because most of the roads, they are not well maintained and uh, uh, to be passed out through the whole the rain season and the dry season. So we're getting very difficult. We get the limited area for the game drives, which is not fair for the clients who are paid everything. So when you're telling them about these infrastructure challenges, it doesn't really make any sense for them. Another challenge we are facing is we don't get enough support from the government and other tourism stake, uh, stakeholders like institution. They don't really recognize us guides like we are playing a very important role in this industry at large. To make sure they are recognized as a backbone of the tourism industry but also recognize the importance of ambassadors. These guys will play the roles. Kwa ujumla tuseme kwamba sekta ya utalii inaendeshwa na watu ukitoa watu utalii haupo tukichukulia watu kama guide ni watu muhimu sana ni muhimu kwa vile wao ndio kiunganishi kati ya rasilimali kwa maana ya e, wanyama 
mandhari iliyopo na wateja wetu ambao ni watalii. Na umuhimu wao unakuja pale ambapo wanakuja na wageni wakawaonyesha rasilimali zilizopo lakini bila kuleta athari yoyote kwa rasilimali. Hao watu wakiondoka na hizo habari ambazo ni sahihi wakawaeleza wenzao idadi ya wageni naweza ikaongezeka. Kwa hiyo guides ni muhimu sana katika kutoa picha halisi ya rasilimali zetu kwa wateja ambao au watalii wanaokuja kutembelea. This group it is also pregnant and the way you can tell you can see the swinging of the belly as well as the back legs between the back legs and the and the tummy you can see the air space and then you can see the baby moving. A tour guide is like a teacher. A tour guide is like a leader. A tour guide is someone who is between resources and the audience and the audience is a tourist. What we need is that information from the resources should be simple and should be understandable. And the result is the joyful of the tourists, of the clients who are actually getting service from a tour guide. Again, a tour guide must have a high discipline. He has to understand situations of the clients themselves. He has to know the complicated clients and how to handle them. If we want to increase the number of tourists coming into the country, we need to have some very professional and knowledgeable guides. It is a time now for the government, two operators and, and all other stakeholders to join us to train the guides so that we can have very professional people working in the industry. TTJ by itself cannot do all that. We need a support from the government, we need a support from other stakeholders, but we also need a support from two operators.